Hello farming family, welcome to Alipat Farms. Are you a beginner or already into farming? Do you know there are so many kinds of soil micro and macroorganisms found within the soil? There are good ones and harmful ones. The good ones help and perform the activities within the soil whilst the bad ones affect plants by infesting certain kinds of diseases within the soil. These harmful ones are the bacteria and fungus. The harmful bacteria in the soil infest bacterial infestation to plants whilst the fungus infest fungal. These two diseases infestation normally destroy our entire production. These two are bacterial and fungal diseases. Let's learn more about these two harmful infestations and how they can be managed. Hello farming family, welcome to Alipat Farms. I always say there's money in the soil and you always need to get your hands dirty. Today, I want us to discuss about two pandemic infestation in tomato production. Let's talk about bacteria and fusorium wort. When we talk about bacteria wort, it's a devastating disease of tomatoes caused by the soil borne bacterium Rastonia solanaceum, which is a pathogenic disease. The bacterium enters the plant root through wounds and colonizes the xylem of the plant. So, when we talk about the bacteria, what it enters the plant root okay it enters the plant root and then pass through the stem base of the plant and then destroy the entire plant so normally when the root of the plant is injured it is easy for bacteria to thrive in at that point in time when we, we are looking at some of the symptoms of the bacteria wart, one of the symptoms of bacteria wart is a few leaves wart, starting with the youngest leaf on the top of the plant. Secondly, the entire plant wart, including all of its leaves. So, when you see that, you need to note that you have. Um, be infested with bacteria or what and also brown discoloration that's cankers of stems and leaves along uh, along with root rot starting at the base of the plant you see so you see a brown discoloration like brown color as it is shown in the video uh, brown leaves of the stem so it, like brown discoloration of stems and leaves so you, you you could see that the stem and the leaf is turned to brown and then the roots start to rot starting from the base of the plant another point is that it also leave the plant to be standard so that standard growth or limited height it does not allow the plant 
to grow as it should be when we talk about fusorium wort fusorium wort is a fungi diseases bacteria wort is bacteria so with the fusorium fusorium is a fungi but it has similar symptoms so with the fusorium wort is a fungi diseases that affect plant through the roots lets invading the xylem and eventually extending throughout the plant so that is fusorium wort so when we talk about fusorium wort is a fungi diseases that infests plants through the rootlets invading the xylem and eventually extending throughout the whole plant some of the symptoms of fusorium wort include warting of the plant often starting with an with a single leaf or shoot near the top of the plant so when you observe that you need to know that you are facing the fusorium wort know that you are facing fusorium wort the second point or the second symptoms is that you observe yellow rain of lower leaves often starts on only one side so you observe uh, yellow rain of um, lower leaves which is uh, or which often starts on only one side of the plant and then it then dries the leaves and then the that dry leaves dry out and fall off from the plant once the leaf turn yellow from the one side it then dries and then the dried leaves then fall off from the plant you also observe this colored stem with dark brown streaks which is visible when cut open lengthwise you when once that happens you you see that you are face you are facing a uh, fusarium wart infestation so these two diseases is very very dangerous to to a farmer to uh, to all the farmers uh, to mantle farmers well so as a farming family we need to mm, protect our plants from such uh, pandemic infestations because it has no solution once you infest you you face such uh, problem in your field so you need to put up maximum uh, managing skills to protect the plant from getting such uh, infestations So looking at the ways of managing such uh, infestation or prevent such infestation one one of the thing you need to uh, observe or you need to put in place to avoid such infestation is one you need to make sure that you plant or you cultivate resistant varieties you need to plant resistant varieties variety that can resist such infestation the bacteria world and then the fossarium so you need to plant a variety that is resistant 
Secondly, you need to treat your nursery bed with a copper-based fungicide, mostly for the fusarium. It's it's advisable that once you want you need you are once you are about to start any kind of nursery, not only in tomatoes but any vegetable, if you want to start a nursery, you have to make sure that after the construction of the nursery bed, you need to treat that seed beds or the nursery bed with copper-based fungicide. Or you need to burn ashes on that bed before you introduce this introduce the seeds on the bed another point is that you need to avoid working on such soil for about three to four years yes you need to um, avoid using such land for cultivation for about three to four years leave it for following because at that point in time once you leave it whether bacteria of uh, uh, such such pathogens are in the soil once you leave it for for a number of years they can survive in such environment since they are not getting anything to feed on so that you can reuse it as the year ends the years ends yeah you also need to avoid using garden tools to injure the root of the plant because as is as it was said um fusarium or uh, bacteria woods can also be caused or be severe or can affect your plant when the root of the plant is injured so you need to avoid injuring the plant roots with your garden tools. So if you know you are controlling a risk around your plant, then you need to be careful using the tools. Another point that is, uh, do not overwet the soil. Do not overwet the soil too much. Because it can cause fusarium wort. And you know fusarium wort is a fungi infection. Fusarium wort is a fungi infection. So when the soil is too much wet, it will cause fusarium wort. So you need to take note. Another point that you need to take into consideration is that once you observe that the plant has been infested immediately you need to uproot the infested plant and burn it immediately any infested plant need to be uprooted and burn it immediately to avoid spreading so you need to take note of that and note you can't control such infestation when it happened you can't control such infest infestations so what you need is protection first protection first protection first so this is how you can manage not to get such infestation because fusarium bacteria what are the most dangerous infestation in tomatoes production and you need to take note of that and then lay down measures lay down the protective measures so as said farmers try to do this to avoid all these infestations mostly this infestation are carried from the nursery stage to the permanent field so that is why for fusarium you need to treat the nursery with copper-based fungicide 
with bacteria treat the seed bed with ash to prevent all this infestation because you can carry them from the nursery stage at the younger seedlings to the field you can carry them from the seedlings stage to the field so it is very important that you need to protect the younger seedlings at the nursery stage because diseases or infestation are easily to occur during seedling stage so you need to protect the plant or the seedlings before you transplant it to the field you need to observe that it's very important fusorium and bacteria infection is very 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 dangerous when it comes to tomatoes so once you have your seed bed burn ashes on the bed after the burn of the ashes then once you are about to nest it or after the germination of the seedling then you introduce your copper base fungicide to the younger seedlings so that you will not face such infestation thank you very much